Hi guys, what I want to do today is talk about setting up a recovery disk for your Aspire One. Um, you'll need this if anything goes wrong. Um, it's quite simple to set up, um, but it does need explaining. Um, first of all, what you don't need is the Expire One to actually set up the disk. What you do need, however, is the recovery DVD that you should have found in the box. You will also need a flash drive. Make sure it's a big one, don't skimp on the size here. Anything smaller than one gigabyte will not work. And you're going to need another computer. Right, let's see how it works. Okay, what we have to do is to transfer the contents of the recovery DVD over to your flash drive. Now in order to do this, the computer has to be off. What you do is you plug in your flash drive, insert the recovery DVD, and you'll need it to boot from the recovery DVD. Now to do that, you have to go into the BIOS settings, and I'll show you how you do this. Turn the computer on, and the moment this screen appears, press F2. That will take you into the BIOS settings. Here you have a series of menus. Click on over to boot. This gives you boot sequence. Scroll down till you find your CD and DVD. Press F6 to bring it up to the boot order of number one. Head off over to here, exit and saving changes. Save configuration changes and exit now. Yes, and you're done. That way it will boot from the DVD. What happens now is the computer boots from the Aspire One Recovery DVD. You have a selection of menus here. You have to quickly go down to the Create Recovery USB Drive and press Return. And that will start this process going. Follow the menu, it's quite straightforward. Click on go ahead. It will ask you which USB drive. Now mine is um, partitioned, but I'm going to select the, the largest of the two. Go forward. All data on the selected partition will be overwritten. This is going to reformat the flash drive. So make sure there's nothing on there that you, um, you can't afford to lose. Press OK. And here it goes. This whole process is going to take about um, about 20 minutes. Okay, as you can see, I've got the congratulations message. The recovery USB drive has been created and I'm, I'm being asked to press exit to continue. The disk automatically pops out. Um, so I can put that away, no need for that anymore. And let's push exit. Please remove this before you reboot. Now, what, what's going to happen here is I'm going to take out the disk, reboot it, and I want to change the BIOS back to the original settings so that it boots from the hard disk and not from the, um, the disk drive. Again, what I'm going to do is press F2, go into my boot sequence menu, select the hard disk, F6 again, bring it up to the order number one, go over to exit, exit saving changes, Save changes, exit now, yes, and I'm done. So what we have now is an Aspire one, let's pretend it's dead, and the recovery DVD has been transferred over to my USB flash drive. What we need to do to reboot this is to do um, what we did with the notebook in reverse. So let's plug in the flash drive into the Aspire one, turn it on, and here I can go straight to the boot sequence menu uh, by pushing F12. What I want to do is select the flash drive. And here's that familiar welcome screen. 
Welcome to the ESA Recovery Management for this by one. Now again, all I have to do here is um, select the partition, the entire disk. All data on the selected partition will be overwritten. Press OK to continue. OK. And it takes care of the rest. Again, this is going to take about 20 minutes. So after approximately 23 minutes, you get this congratulations screen. Your system has been restored. Press exit to continue. Please remove this before you reboot. Take the flash drive out. And you get the startup menu, which you should have got the very first time you opened the Aspire 1. You have to select the language. Now I'm going to select Italian because that's where I am and my keyboard is Italian. Now I get the password. For those of you who are asking, it's the Acer guy. But I will change that. The date and time. Well... I'm going to leave that for now, I'll adjust that later. The system reboots. And there you go. System's fully recovered.